All right, what we have for review today, we have a roundup of Girl Scout cookies. We have seven different, seven different types here, um, all of which I really enjoy, and we're gonna jump right into it. To start with a little bit of a background, Girl Scout, the first Girl Scout cookie sales were by an individual scout unit in um, Muskogee, Oklahoma. And this took place on December 19, December um, 1917. So that's exactly 100 years ago. Well, a little bit short of it. This December, it will be 100 years. So I guess this December will be Girl Scout Cookies 100 year anniversary. Wow, I didn't even notice that. Um, it was it, it was done by the Mistletoe Troop in Muskogee, Oklahoma, on in December of 1917 at their local high school. Then a few years later, in 1922, Girl Scout Magazine, uh, the American Girl, which we all know is the American Girl doll today. We didn't really know that that was the Girl Scout Magazine back then, which I guess it was. They suggested cookie sales as a fundraiser, and they gave simple cookie recipes um, from the regional director of Girl Scouts of Chicago. So this has a lot of uh, roots in American history, Girl Scouts of America cookies. There's a long history of it dating back to s almost a century ago, this year. And then from 1933 to 1935, it actually became bigger. It got really organized and the cookie sales really took off in Philadelphia and New York. And then it's taught, and since it was such a good fundraiser and it helped girls develop the five skills that they all that um, each Girl Scout box has on it, which we can look at right here real quick. You see, it helps girl. It says that the skills help the girls um, helps them do goal setting, decision making, money management, people skills, and business ethics. There are five skills that they can use throughout their lives. So that's what really that did. And so since it was such a great success in, in, from 1933 to 1935, and it um, really took off. By 1936, they're a national organization and they began licensing to commercial bakeries um, to reduce lag time and make sure they could get them out in a, a timely fashion and Keebler being one of them. Anyways, so Girl Scout Cookies have not always had this seven, these seven lineups. They've always been changing their lineup and um, adding and subtracting. The current lineup, which I actually don't have them all here. The current lineup is a total of 12 cookies and here is what the 12 different cookies are in the short description of them. I have the Thin Mints, the Samoas, the um, Peanut Butter Sandwich, the Peanut Butter Patties. I have the Shortbread, the Thanks A Lot um, here, and the uh, Lemonades. But these other ones, the Toffee Tastic, Trios, Girl Scout S'mores, um, Savannah Smiles, um, I don't actually have. So, but here I have seven of the 12, seven of the 11, I'm sorry, pretty good. And here's, I'm gonna show you one more thing. It's a list on discontinued Girl Scout cookies. In case anybody wants to know what there used to be, I'm not gonna read them all off, but I'll put them up here. Now I'll scroll it real slowly so you can pause the video as you may to take a look. So it's there and then friend. And those are the discontinued ones. All right, I hope that helps. All right, so let's jump right into it. I'm gonna clear these boxes out and take a, so we can take a look at the uh, seven cookies we have at hand. All right. And here we go, Girl Scout Cookie Roundup. Boom. There's the seven. I'm gonna go through which ones which. Thin Mints, Shortbread, Samoas. Pin, uh, this one is gonna be the <clears throat> peanut, peanut Butter Sandwich. This is gonna be the Thanks A Lot. This is gonna be the Peanut Butter Patty. This is gonna be the Lemonade. This is gonna be the Thin Mint. 
So Thin Mint, Shortbread, Samoas, Peanut Butter Patty, uh, I'm sorry, Peanut Butter Sandwich, Peanut Butter Patty, Thanks A Lot, and the Lemonade. So these are seven, the seven cookies I have here, and let's jump right into them. Out of these, my favorite has to be the Thin Mint, then the Samoas. Um, reviewing them real quick, so this, this one, the Thin Mint, is described as a crispy chocolate wafer dipped in a mint chocolatey coating. Then moving on to the shortbread, it is just a traditional shortbread cookie. Then we're moving on to the Samoa. Samoa is a little bit more complicated. It's a vanilla cookie topped with caramel, sprinkled with toasted coconuts, and laced with chocolatey stripes. All right, and then this one is gonna be the peanut butter sandwich, and that's gonna be crisp and crunchy oatmeal cookies with creamy peanut butter filling. So that's actually an oatmeal cookie. This one, the thanks a lot, is actually one of my favorite also. I think this is my number three. Number three or four, one of these. is gonna be a shortbread cookie dipped in rich fudge and topped with an embossed thank you message in one of the five languages. Oh yeah, how nice. As you can see right here, this one says merci or thank you in French. How fitting. All right, and then peanut butter patties, that's going to be a crispy vanilla cookie layered with peanut butter and covered with a chocolatey coating. All right, so those are seven different cookies. What I'll do is I'm going to just break each one in half so you can kind of take a look at what the cross section is. Um, this one is about a two inch by two inch, so they can give you a perspective on how much, how large all these cookies are. These two being obviously the largest and probably greater than two inches in diameter, and all these are going to be about two inches. Just for perspective, I'll lay it, put this here. I don't know if that helps, but you can see this one's about two, two plus. Sorry for that focusing, but there we go. I hope that helps. Minus the focusing issue, sorry about that again. There we go. I'll just go down slowly. There we go. All right, now let's go ahead and break some of these in half. Actually, all of them. Oh, nice. Very nice. Put that one back together. This is gonna, ooh, this one. Ooh, I should have done that one last. Oh boy, ah, I can't really break it. Let me just bite it. There we go. Oh wow. Crunchy. That one. I'm gonna flip the other half over if I can. Oh wow, that is not pretty. I'll flip it over. This one, um, this one, I'm going to break it in half and I'll split it apart. There you go. So you can all see what all of this looks like. Okay. There you go. Um, shortbread. This one's going to be fairly simple. I'll make the other one half upside down. Thin mint. Ooh, very crispy. Look at that. Just pops right open. Boom. And that's what they all look like. There you go. I hope that gives you an idea of the texture, what they look like. I did do an individual review on all of these cookies, so please look at my... I'm going to make a Girl Scout playlist, so I'll include all of them. But yeah, these are good. My favorite being the Thin Mints. This one... Nice and minty. This one's a runner-up. This one's a little bit heavy, a little bit chewy. This one's also really good. Oh yeah, peanut butter, chocolate, and cookie. It's almost like a mix between a Twix and a Reese's. That one's very good too. These are all fantastic. Definitely support your local Girl Scouts, helping them develop those five skills. Um, don't buy these for health reasons because they're obviously not healthy, but they're good for the soul. They're good for the community. If someone, come, if the Girl Scouts come to your door trying to sell Girl Scout cookies, do not turn them away. At least buy one. Support them. Support the community. It helps teach them those five different skills. And if you're not going to eat them, that's fine. Have a one or take it to work. Share it with colleagues. Share it with families or friends. Family and friends. But definitely... Um, don't be a Grinch and buy the Girl Scout cookies. 
help the community. Um, as I, again, I'm going to do these real quick because it probably much shares it for all the cookies. This is a tertiary food. It's an item you're better off not eating than eating from a strictly health perspective. It's a 2 out of 10. Um, again, that's not the reason you buy cookies ever in the first place. And since they're Girl Scout cookies, you should definitely go ahead and buy it not be a Grinch. And then on the glycemic index scale is going to be a... 75 to 80, probably a seven, around 70 to 80 out of 100, and that's just, these are all, that's an estimate. I don't have the measurements of these, and that's for cookie average of all types, and that's where that falls, so somewhere in there. For information on this and these, definitely look in the description below. I have informational videos about how I came about all those. All right, thanks again. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the review. Definitely subscribe if you like my reviews in the future. Buy the Girl Scout cookies. Support your local troops. And see you for the next video. Thanks a bunch. Take care. Bye-bye.